We certainly appreciate Mike Evans coming on here to the Second to None podcast. Now, TK, we want to give our predictions here uh, for the LSU and Mississippi State game. We'll go ahead and throw the graphic up on the screen. TK, some stuff that that jumps out right off the bat. Of course, LSU, two-and-a-half-point favorite going to a noon kickoff, which will be 11 a.m. Central time out there, so a very early start for those guys. That, that's already kind of a – red flag right there maybe for the the road team just not being at home and having to wake up so early you know how that is uh, tk with all that kind of stuff but of course mississippi state won last year 44 to 34 mike leach uh and company really surprising lsu but tk just wanted to uh ask you you know when it comes to this game this matchup an LSU team that has struggled defensively. They're still trying to find totally their identity on offense as well. Uh, what are your thoughts, you know, coming into this matchup? Man, my thoughts are that they're going to have to score a lot of points. Um, I really feel like that, you know, uh, Max and Max Johnson and those guys are going to have to score a lot of points on offense um, on Saturday um, solely because – their defense is struggling, but I think they're capable of it. Um, Jack Bash, Deion Smith are guys that are stepping up, um, making plays. Um, I think they're capable of it, but I think they're going to have I really think I really think they're gonna have to score a lot of points, bro. No doubt. And you, as you can see on here, um, LSU is only rushing the ball for 86 yards a game. So they're only getting 86 yards rushing on offense a game. That they, they have to be able to help Max Johnson out more in that running game and not have to put – he's a fine quarterback, and he's able to throw for the high 300s and you know low 400s in a game if, if asked to. But it's always a quarterback and offense's best friend, TK, if you're able to run the football a little bit better. But it's not going to be easy sledding on that Zach Arnett uh, – that Zach Arnett defense, as uh, you and I have, you know, talked about, there's guys like Jet Johnson who stepped up at middle linebacker when Nathaniel Watson went down. He leads the team with 21 tackles. Uh, Randy Charlton is a, is a junior transfer from UCF. He's played a lot of football, has experience, and he's starting to step up. Zach Arnett not, uh, noted both of those guys this week. So it's going to be interesting to see – how this LSU offense goes about tacking a good, what I consider to be a good defense uh, for Mississippi State. I mean, they lost to, to Memphis last week, TK, but they held them uh, over 400 yards underneath their average yardage output. Yeah, I think I think that they're playing better and better um, each week, which um, kind of I think sucks for LSU because, again, I think they're going to have to score a lot of points. And the reason that I say that is because they are – they lost Andre Anthony, um, DN. They we don't know what's going on with Stingley. Um, it looks like he's going to be out. I mean, Ed Orgeron said tonight in a press conference he looks highly questionable for the game. So, so yeah, so they're thin. They're already they're they're. It's a struggling. It's a struggling tackling defense that is now thinner up front. Um, so I, I I think that it. it it, it has the potential to to be an ugly one. No doubt. Like I said, lost Andre Anthony for the years. TK mentioned he had five and a half sacks last year in 2020. This year, he was already up to three and a half sacks with four and a half tackles for a loss. That loss is going to force LSU to move Mason Smith, a true freshman, out from defensive tackle out to more of a defensive end. So you have Mason Smith, Ali Gay, and B.J. Ojolari who are going to be that kind of three-man rotation Ed Orgeron alluded to earlier this week at defensive end. Uh, and they're, they're 83rd in the country, TK, offensive line-wise. They've allowed seven sacks this year, LSU has. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up uh, happening with that with that group right there um, on LSU's offense, especially if they're having to drop back a lot because they're not able to run the ball. And over on the Mississippi State side, just wanted to run through some things. They're throwing the ball, TK, 76.5% of the time. You would have loved to play in that offense, wouldn't you? Well, what? But line me up. I wish I had some eligibility right now. <laughs> That's it. That's it. TK TK was, uh, you know, used to maybe, the, the you know, play action, throw him a deep post every once in a while at Georgia. Hey, uh, we're going to play action and run a digger out there, TK, run to the sideline 
every once in a while, but he still he still got it done. Nine hundred fifty yards that senior year. He was he was almost the second receiver in Georgia history to uh, get the thousand yard mark with uh, Terrence Edwards over there. So TK will live in Georgia immortality forever over there with that offensive output. But uh, Rogers, Will Rogers for Mississippi State is completing seventy four point eight percent of his passes. So he's really He's really doing his thing over there. And as I mentioned, defensively, they're stepping up. They're only allowing, at, on average, 14 first downs a game, TK. And that is not a that's not a high number. I mean, you see some of the more proficient offenses out there getting, getting 24, 25, 26. Even those Alabama and Clemson teams a couple years ago were getting 29 and 30 first downs a game. So that is a low number. Uh, I'm intrigued by it. So let's go ahead and give our, uh, give our picks uh, right here. TK, who do you like between LSU and Mississippi State, and, and why? I mean, I think you could hear it uh, in what I was saying a little bit. But, I mean, I like Mississippi State again. I think I think LSU is just struggling right now, bro. I think they're struggling to, struggling defensively. Um, and, if, and if Max Johnson and, and that offense can't score a lot of points and um, – keep them in this game I I don't I don't think their defense will be able to do it so I think Mississippi State by at at least 14. Wow he's thinking it's going to be a a, a just blowout game that them Cowboys them Cowbells going to be rocking down there they beat them by 10 last year are they better or worse than last year they did beat them by 10 I think this Leach program has gotten better than I think they're better defensively as well but I also think uh I just think LSU with with uh, Kayshawn Boutte and, and Jack Besh and Deion Smith, I think they are going to be able to do some things to hurt that that yeah. Mississippi State team. But I'm still picking the Bulldogs to win at home. I'm just doing it a little bit closer than you. I'm going to say Mississippi State wins this game 45 to 41. I'm going to say it's a absolute barn burner. I'm going to say 45 40 41 uh, Mississippi State over LSU. <laughs> 